Hey guys, Cindy Otter here. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Here I am in my squeaky chair. Um, we're going to be here today. I'm going to show you a journal flip through. Now, if you guys know, last year um, I tried to get, you know, finish up journals. These are journals I've had sitting around. They might have one, two, or three, or 12 pages left in them, and I finally just decided to get them done. So I've got a journal here. This is a, just a regular hardcover book that I had used. I took the book pages out of it, painted it up, and I had sewn in two signatures. Uh, put some stars here. Really not a whole lot about it. It's just a book. And, of course, you know my books. They don't ever stay shut. So here we are again with another journal. Again, this is something that... Um, I like to do when I'm out on the coffee table, you know, out in the, in the, let's do that again, out in the living room, um, you know, watching a movie or just relaxing for the night, whatever. I enjoy doing this stuff, so, or having a bad day, whatever it may be. Um, some of these pages, you know, I just, I decided they were done, and that's just the way they were going to be, so, timeless. Creative. I like this little guy with the with the headlight or the headlight, the light bulb. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Fibro fog is going on here today. The beauty of this life. Marilyn Monroe. It says, "Are we celebrating 29 again?" More washi stickers. This the journey is is the state of mind. This actual card is for I believe it's called the Lion's Potterer in Pennsylvania, and um, I had bought some cups there. So every now and then I get one of his postcards, and I just thought it was really cool. I had to put it in the journal. You couldn't handle me even if I came with instructions? Mm, that's true. Just this little gal. I don't know what she's doing. Maybe spinning the wheel of fortune. I don't know. Where are my glasses? Boy, what's this look like? One on the face, one on the head. I do that with my cell phone in my hand. I'm like, where's my cell phone? But... This one I thought was kind of cool. This is just collage out of magazines. If I find something really interesting that I think might work in any type of a glue book, I cut it out. So this one just says a story for girls. I like that page. Oops. We met, oh, no, we did. Um, Love is telling him he's slipping. If you guys look back in my journals, you'll see my journal for Love is. I collected these back in the 80s. This was 1983. Um, and I actually made a journal just out of Love Is, and I really enjoyed those. They were a lot of fun. And the book, Good Life. A hodgepodge of stuffs. Somebody's going on a plane, you know, I don't know. Just a hodgepodge. That's what I felt like putting on that page that day. Um, this one says Paris something. I just like these old pictures. They're kind of cool. A window, looking into nothing. Remember these cards when the first, um, what they call them, smash books came out? These these packs of cards were in there. I had fun with those. This one, um, just a tree hanging out. I don't know. Just where it is. This little angel here. This one says, if you don't shine, you're just dull. Choose to shine. This is actually a tag off something. I had purchased. I don't know. <laughs> That's my son. <laughs> He's sending me a kiss. Um, He's my boy. Just a little birdie smelling the flowers. Nothing crazy. Some icicles coming down. It says, Ah, oh, this is lovely fit. Whose make are they? Sellers? something and they will wear splendidly I don't know some of these old big Victorian pictures I just enjoy them this lady I just decided to put her out for a stroll in a crazy world so that's where she's at some of these to me and ways look incomplete but at this point I'm good with it I'm, I'm okay it is what it is and that's where it's gonna be um, <laughs> when did my wild oats become shredded wheat <laughs> that just cuts me up <coughs> pardon me Beautiful picture. Again, I think this came out of a Somerset Studio magazine. Um, I'm not sure whose piece of art it is, but I just thought it was absolutely beautiful. And, you know, I did some playing around. Sorry about that. Um, let's see. When I was a child, just fun. This was an old um, 
apple bag that I put in here. Again, this is a junk journal, so this is all junk. Um, modeling paste, and it says, it's better to take a risk than miss a moment of magic. And I'm sorry, I have to leave my phone on so if it pings again. I'm wait actually waiting for a phone call, so. Uh, this guy, I don't know what happened here. I don't know why I decided to cover this guy up, but this guy is just drumming away, having fun. The journey, not the arrival, matters. And then I just put Dreamer on here. <laughs> Vader. This was in the mood I was in that day. <laughs> if you notice, the um, this is journaling. This I was either upset, I was having a bad day, I was in a lot of pain, or I just felt like crap. And this is what ended up happening. So I felt like Vader that day. Beautiful little gal, just jump roping. I think that's what she's doing. She's flying on a bird, it looks like. Give thanks. Just because. This is um, an embossed piece of cardstock that I did, and then I just put some paints over it, which I thought was really cool. I had a bunch of these, so I decided I needed to use a bunch of them up. This is a bookmark I got probably from Wish, maybe, years ago. Love Life. This gal, just at the moment. I don't know. One of the bugs I drew a long time ago, and then this postcard thing that says love. Again, some of these make no sense to me right now, but it is what it is. It's done, and I'm not going back. Josephine. Hanging out in her shell. Oops, that one I got glue back on. Caution. You know, I'm going to do that while I'm sitting right here so I don't have to try to figure out where it is. Hold on. Ugh. Yeah, some of these books have been in the works for, I'm talking years. I'm talking like a lot of years. Alright. Um, this is a. Um, card that my my friend Peg Robinson had sent to me. It said peace and love, but I don't know where the love went. So it's just peace. So one of these days I'll find the love and I'll get this journal out and put it in there. This this is Ruth apparently and she's just graffitiing. Some of these I just, you know, I had fun with just putting light colors together and whatever. Uh, these guys just hanging out one day at a time. Smile, it's the key that fits the lock of everybody's heart. This guy's eagle. I don't think he's going to stay on because I've got all this uh, drywall tape behind it. But we're going to try to keep him on. I have no idea. I just had this picture and I thought it was kind of cool. This one said, I almost did it. I'll start tomorrow again. And she's smoking, so I think that's what I referred to. This guy. Um, all I put on him was the story. Because you know he's got a story. This one, I have no idea. This little chick here running around. Uh, yeah, I'm not a fan of that page at all. This was a video I did. Um, the more we try to be perfect, the farther we drift away from who we really are. This was done, actually... March of 2020. Um, let go with the heart. John Lennon stamps. Um, let's hang and then I stuck this popsicle in here. I don't know why. It's sticking here. Big old popsicle. Again, this is one of those embellishments that um, the woman that I got that box from had created. There's a few of those. A little tag on the end of it so I could say something, but I didn't. Um, reserved. I don't know. His face to me just looked like he was holding something back, and that's where I ended up, where I got the reserve from. So when you're looking at my books, if you see them, um, I always take something from the page itself or from a main picture in it. And this one, his face just looked really reserved to me. And I thought it was kind of cool also because the background is so complicated, and he is just, so, you know, simple. But that's me. Um, this I have no idea. These were just letters that I had to use up. So I thought I'd do them in a creative way. They were rub-ons. Brown's French dressing. And it says ladies and children's boots and shoes. Satin po and satin polish. I don't know. 
this little guy. <laughs> I looked for a while in my words to find um, something to go on this page, and I ended up with Bamboozled Henry. So that's Bamboozled Henry, if you haven't met. <laughs> um, a city. This is done out of fabric. Somebody had made this out of fabric, and this is a picture out of a journal, or out of a magazine, and I just wrote, we're all mad here. The way this world is today, we are all mad. It's insane. It's ridiculous. Um, my little dragon that lit on my Halloween house. No idea. There he is. He's happy. Uh, Want to have some fun? Phone me at, and then there's a phone number. These are cute little stickers. I actually bought, I was in a thrift store, and I bought a bunch of paper, just like notebook paper, and they had all these little characters on the bottom of them. So I went through and cut them all off. I don't know. She's just hanging out with her feet in the air. Made some lollipops. It just says, hey, sugar. Um, this is actually a Christmas one. And I don't know why I decided to do Christmas other than the fact that it was all red and I just wanted something different. So I did the blues and the greens and I said it's the most wonderful time of the year. Yeah, whatever. It is what it is. Little Roadrunner, flowers. Um, this I had like on a pack of six or something. I don't know why I had the number 14 and this lady's chilling out in a lot in a hammock. I kind of like this page. Create. This is a Diane Reevely. Um, it's part of one of the canvases, so I cut it in half and I used her. And, you know, again, this is washi, just some magazine pages, just odds and ends that I really liked. I thought that looked good together. Outfit of the day. Sometimes I like to cut out just pictures of dresses and stuff just for something to do while I'm sitting it in my chronic pain days. He. That's all it says is he. Weekend plans. I really like this one. I just thought that come out really pretty. Um, you know, she's doing whatever she's doing. and I just like that page. That page come out real cool. Gone crazy. I'll be back in 10 minutes. I think make mine 20 or 30. Mm -hmm. This one is just write it down. Um, I had this picture of this old typewriter and I had these write it downs out of a planner. And then I had all these different letters and I just decided to stick them all over there. Looks good. Say it with music. Again, this was the notepad paper that I had found um, at a thrift store. I think I paid 25 cents for it. And it had this whole band in here and I just say it with music. <laughs> Where's the unsubscribe button to adulthood? On adulthood? Yeah, I'd like that. Well, then again, maybe I don't want to go back to my childhood. I'll stick with adulthood. Um, summertime and the living is easy. That one pretty much speaks for itself. That's a magazine page. A stamp, a tag, you know, just odds and ends. Um, Queen of France. This is one of those uh, gorgeous girls. Um, I just thought this this bird felt was really nice on this paper, the shades of it, and it says far from home. I've got fairy wishes and angel kisses. Just an angel resist. This one I just thought was kind of interesting. Um, it's got a background, nice little background, and I saw this. This is, I believe, oh, I can't think of her name. Pamela Car Carriker, is that her name? Um, that's one of her designs out of a magazine. It says she had a feeling. Celebrate family. These are just older pictures I thought were cool. You'll see bits and pieces of fabric all through here also. Um, how good can you feel? She fit right there, so that's why that's there. Uh, this is for this guy. It says, Dear You, Surrender Your Fear. I had fun with this one. I like this right here. I think that's cool. Um, smile. <laughs> She's right, getting ready to go swimming. And it's a rabbit. Little Mermaid just says curiosity. This gal, I put her on top of one of my Christmas trees. You can tell I use Elmer's glue in these because sometimes the stuff doesn't. It just says cherish. This was actually from Peg Robinson. She had sent me this piece of paper and it had all this beautiful stuff on it and I thought it was fabulous. So that is a Peg Robinson. Uh, bits and pieces. This is just one of the flowers I watercolored a long time ago. Again, a dress I cut out. Decided to put this in top. 
You know, nothing crazy. A tag, lots of love on it. Hmm. And the back of this is, says, looking out the window, and it's got the, five, the four seasons. Spring, summer, fall, and winter. Um, this just fit here. I thought it was really pretty on that background. A uh, thing of flowers. It says, if not now, when? I like this little guy. Live, sl live simply, bloom wildly. Why are these guys coming up? I think I better use better glue on these from now on. Alright, let's see. Uh, preserve this keepsake. Talking about our trees. We need them. This little guy's just hanging out. I don't know. Got a flower there. He's just doing his thing. Weekend. And it says she was a true friend. This one, happiness is a state of mind, not a state of things. I like that. I love yoga. Oh, uh, let's see. There's this lady here on a big, tall, whatever. And it says, starting tomorrow, whatever life throws at me, I'm ducking so it hits someone else. <laughs> um, again, this beautiful Victorian picture, and it just says, the queen of it all. Some of my flowers I make in dictionary pages. This is out of a magazine. It says, the flowers appear on the earth. Again, this is one of those trees that I made. I don't know if you guys saw the video. It was quite a while back with my granddaughter. Her and I were making trees. So that's one of the trees we made, and it says to come home. And it says, I don't understand your specific kind of crazy, but I do admire your total commitment to it. And again, that's a Diane Reasley. And this is just whatever it is. All right, I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave them in the comments below. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.